Hey, what's up guys? So, check it out. I'm just go right into it, right? Um, I received the other ice, the brand new Ice River KSO o Ultra, okay? So that one, I am going to obviously put it up here somewhere, but I'm gonna shut one of these down. Um, I don't need all of these miners that are, uh, the, the, all of these pros on. I'm just gonna swap it out for one of the Ultras. Cause I'm, I told you, like I said, I'm, I'm selling these, I'm selling six of these. I'm leaving the, whatever. This is the Ultra. This is the other Ultra that I fixed. But okay, let me get to it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, also I'm receiving another package today. That's supposed to be the, um, one of those little Bitcoin lottery miner machines, you know. But I'm going to put that on solar, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the lucky things. I'm going to give it a shot, you know, see what happens. Okay, let's get back to the, to, to the, um to the ultra that's not working okay all right I discovered a few things okay remember when I told you about the 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 components that were missing you know I replaced them whatever in yesterday's video and then what happened was uh, something ended up smoking I, I wasn't sure what it was something smoked you know when I turned it on so what was happening <clears throat> so then what was happening now is because that happened when i was plugging in the the fans right it would power up you'll see the blue lights whatever but not over here the the, the, the green and red lights were not coming on all right so if you, taking off the terminals for the the fan and then trying to power it up, they will light up, okay? But of course, it's gonna give me, uh, the red light will come on because of, you know, the heating issue, whatever. So, now, I didn't know what it was, but I, I figured it was the burnt component, whatever. And uh, so, you know, now I'm probing around and stuff like that. You know, um, so, I was messing around with in this area over here. I don't even see it there. And I screwed another thing up. <laughs> I burnt another component. Great. Which is uh, what they call a, a ferret bead. Okay, it's kind of like a fuse. like So I wasn't really concerned about it. Let me see if I can get to that point, to that spot. So I wasn't, you know, like really concerned about it. I was like, oh, great. You know, it's kind of stopping my process here of, of working with this damn thing let me see back all right let me show you all right so right here all right it was, it's one of these it looks like this okay it's a ferret bead okay where it says B to whatever but it's this one over here see it, it I ended up burning it out okay because I uh, if I was probing this over here and I touched something accidentally and it and it, it just sparked and it blew and blew to pieces so no big deal i'm gonna replace that I'm, i got one coming in All right i ended up swapping this out as well you know thinking it was this but it wasn't that i used a uh, one from another miner that's not uh for spare parts but it wasn't that so still did the same thing now i'm back to Messing around with the fan connect fans and the fan connector because it seemed like, like you know, when you plug in the fan, when you plug it, when I would plug it in, these lights would come up, would not turn on when I would, you know, power it up. But when I would unplug it, it would they would come on, whatever the GUI would show and stuff like that. But of course, it wasn't mining, and it would and then it would show me a red light, you know, because I guess it's overheating, whatever. So what, it, what I decided to do was disconnect just one of the ends. I disconnected one and left one on and then plugged it in. So when I did that, it did power up. Okay, both lights came on. So I was like, okay, that's good. It powered up, whatever. So then I what I did was I went ahead and moved it from like one end to another or whatever. You know, it's still powered on, but then when I would plug both of them, it would not come on. So I said, something's wrong with possibly with the with the fans. 
So obviously this is not the fan that belongs to this, but I only temporarily use this. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna grab these fans and I'm gonna plug them in. So I plug these fans in, right? And then the lights came on, okay? I was like, oh, it is something's wrong with the fans. One of these fans or something like that. One of these fans or both of them. So I, I'm suspecting that the burning smoke that originally came out was from one of the fans. That's what I think it was because I couldn't pinpoint it. But I kind of smell it. I could smell like a little burning on this one. But I'm not 100% sure. So I said to myself, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, you know, turn it on, see, see what's up, you know, this way with the fans on. You know, see how far I can get in the gooey, whatever. So when I went upstairs and I went to go check the gooey, right, everything was good. And then I looked and then I went to look at the, um, what do you call it, the, the pool. And I saw it was hashing. There was a point that I had plugged it in, but I don't know which one was it. Would I, would, whether it was I went one of them on or I disconnected both of them or so forth, so on. It, 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 you know, it was hashing and I had turned it off. So I was like, I don't, I don't know what it is. It might have been the fans when I plugged in it. I'm not sh too sure. And it was getting very late. It was about 11 p.m. already. So I was so tired. I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave this till tomorrow. And what I'm going to do now is this. Obviously, I'm going to take this off, right? So this, this over here, one of these fans or maybe both of these fans are blown out. I'm going to take... Cause I don't have the fans. I didn't order them yesterday. Um, like I said, I was tired. So I'm going to take one of these out, this out, this entire thing out, out of one of the working ones, right? Out of one of the working ones and borrow it and then stick it, the fans in there and kind of close it up because I, I was getting the, like the red light, like overheating or whatever. So I'm going to close it up a little bit and, and then see what happens to see if it starts hashing like it did. But it did hash. It did hash. Um, I didn't see it at the GUI because I was running. I was coming back down and stuff like that. And I unplugged it by the time I went upstairs. You know, I already did all that other stuff. So I don't know what period that happened when it started to hash. But the but another thing is the, the um, ASIC chips are getting hot. So it is firing up. Uh, so it is firing up, but um, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna do it. So I installed the fans from the other one, which they turned on and everything, and I am getting it booted up correctly, and it, I'm getting a green light, okay, blinking. So, but it's breaking a little fast. I don't know whether it's because the that ferret bead burnt has anything to do with that. I can put like a jumper wire or something like that, or maybe a resistor um, to bypass that. And I don't know if I should try that. But um, I waited like 14 minutes, and it's not showing up in the pool. Okay, but the GUI shows up and everything like that. Everything looks like operational. You know, it's not ringing, it's not blinking red, but it could just could be that. It just could be that, that um, ferret bee, you know, it needs that, you know, but maybe I could just take it out of this pro. Like I really don't want to mess with this one. There is, you know, this one has some too. I could borrow one from here. I kind of don't want to because this, is, this one is the one that I, was really beat up and I fixed it. It does work. But I'm, I'm gonna leave that one on the side because I'm gonna borrow this these fans from here. But ah, what I should do is order the fans. But I'll probably put some Noctova fans, you know, might as well, why not? Or maybe just get some cheap ones, you know. But I don't know. Let me smell. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's blinking funny, you know. You know, maybe I, I I just just go ahead and and add that um, a jumper or ferret or a resistor. I don't know about a resistor. I'm not sure, resistor. Yeah, I could probably throw in a resistor. Oh, I, 
I gotta think about it. Maybe I should just do a jumper wire. So I jumped the wire and now I'm gonna plug it in. <laughs> we'll see if this burns up. I'm only doing a temporary jump. Okay. Let's make sure nothing burns up here. All right, lights are on. I mean, I put my face on there. But um, yeah, just put a little jump of wire there. Because a ferret bead actually, I mean ferret, yeah, bead actually acts like a fuse. So that being that that one is not there because it burnt out, and I'm just temporarily jumping it until I get some in. I don't have that specific one. But uh, maybe that's the thing. The, maybe that's the issue why this is. Uh, but I, I'm trying to find why. Why does the yellow light blink or the green light yellow? Right. Yeah. Why does it it blink but fast? It's blinking very fast, like it's throwing out a code. But I'm not sure what it what that means. But at this point, you know, it, it, there you go. You hear the fans. It wasn't doing that before when I originally. Um, had the other fans connected, it wouldn't do that that startup test fan. That's what it does. It does it before it starts to blink. Now it's blinking. Okay. It looks like it's blinking normally. The speed now. I don't remember it. Um, how fast was it blinking when it initially started, or did it start blinking fast later on? Oh, the fans came back on again. That sounds like a good sign. Sounds like it's mining. I gotta check. I gotta check. Yeah. It sounds like... Okay, fans went off again. I don't know. But it is blinking uh, the normal speed. Let me check the GUI. So yeah. So far I can't figure it out. I don't even know what, what that means. The blinking like that. I tried a lot of things, but I can't figure it out. What does it mean? It's supposed to be like... Uh, it has that kind of a skipping uh, blink, but normally it would blink like this. Okay. But I don't know, you know, but to be honest with you, it's not getting really hot. And when I looked to see if the chips are firing, I don't see any of the chips firing. But I'm going to open it up and probe around little bit um, but I'm not gonna put it on video I'm just gonna probably burn something out again but I don't know I'm just gonna mess around and uh, see if where powers coming through but everything seems to be normal fans turn on lights both of the lights turn on and then they go off after a minute like they're supposed to and everything looks good I, the, you know it shows up on um, the GUI shows up and everything. It waits a little bit and then it says supposedly saying it's connected to the pool, but when I check the pool, I don't see anything in the pool. But when I check the chips, it doesn't seem, see it's not even getting hot. So it's probably just warm, the chips. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna probe around and look to see if, which power's, if power's coming into the chips or whatever. All right guys, I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it, it's working now. I shut it off really quick because I don't have it connected correctly. So I don't want it to overheat. Oh yeah, it's got hot. It's got, it got hot. All right. So the last thing that was bad on it um, was uh, an LDO. It's a really tiny chip, it looks like that. On one, on one of the sides of the chip. Oh, okay. Let me try to take this apart. Well, anyway, let me see if I can flip it this way. I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Down here, I'm going to show you which one I replaced. Uh, I thought I tested them. But I tested them a different way, I guess. Okay. This is the one I replaced. That one right there. I tested, uh, I went to test it on, to see if I was getting voltages on the chips, and they barely got any, any voltages there. So I was like, it's either one of these right here, 
because I tested these, these were reading correctly. These three were reading correctly against these two LDOs. And these three here were re reading correctly. So when I did the test here, these were, were um, reading correctly. So as soon as I replaced this, turned it on, went upstairs, and boom, it's hashing. It's hashing, boy. Got it working for $140. I got a uh, Ice River KSO Ultra. I was gonna say Pro. Working. Woo! This is the third. This, this is the third one I got because I just got the new one in. I actually t connected it and it's working now. So now I'm gonna put this back together. The only thing is I'm gonna use these fans from the other from the other Pro. Um, because one of these fans here is bad. I'm not even gonna mess with that. You know, one of those fans that was originally there. That I believe that burnt out. Um, so uh, remember, I did that little jumper thing. I'm gonna leave the jumper there because I don't have the the, the ferret um, bead, but that's okay. It's pretty much like a, a, a what do you call it? A, a fuse, anyway. So it works. It's hashing. I tested it. And it's hashing, boy. I got it. I'm so happy. So that's it for the video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later on the next one. Peace, and I'm out, ladies.